Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We are going to get straight into the application process. I used a ton of drugstore 24 hour wear makeup. So it says right on the front of the packaging from concealer to brow products to eye products that this is all long wear, that you're gonna look great for hours and hours and hours and hours. So in my mind, I'm like collecting piece here, collecting piece there, and I'm like, hey, let's put it all on Let's see how it applies, but then let's wear it for a really long time, push the limits and see just how accurate those claims are. It took me forever to do my makeup today. The end result is this and like, hey, I think it's pretty good, right? We're gonna jump in. I have a lot to say. I'm gonna jump out of here and go do my day, but I'm gonna be doing check-ins. So watch the whole video and you're gonna see everything A to Z. And I wanna remind you guys before we hop into the video to make sure that you subscribed if you have not yet done that. I review everything, weird products, long wear products, luxury drugstore, everything in between. And I would love it if you would come hang out with me again. So make sure to do those two things, subscribe, the bell. And with that said, let's hop right in. We are ready for liner. I cannot believe that this took me the time that it did. I have the Maybelline Tattoo Liquid Ink Liner. Now this says up to 36 hours. Do we believe that? Like that's a big, that's a lot of hours. We're gonna see what's up. Well, this went from pretty and soft to Lady Gaga really quickly. Uh, yeah. Uh, why is this happening? I hate this eyeliner. It is literally a disaster and a half. Like it is just like shiny, crinkly, ugly, bunky, bunky. But I hate it. Mm. I have to go to a meeting like this. Okay, we're just going to cheat the system a little bit. Going with a little Gaga. Maybe Lady Gaga will save the day a little bit. I gotta correct this, you guys. It's making me bananas. I've been doing my eye makeup for like 45 minutes. That's not normal. It's just, this is like too shiny too. It's like so, like I can feel the texture on my lid. It is bad. Dear diary, I got in a fight today with my eyeliner. I wasn't even gonna do a wing. Who knows what happened? Oh my God. Okay, so this is, I mean, we got it to a place where it's kind of, it's pretty, but I am gonna say this liner is, the texture of it is really thick. It is hard to uh, get it smooth and even, and I would not recommend it, and that's just me 
going through application and not even wearing it. So far, the shadow, I think it's gonna stay looking nice. I don't like the pan size of the Revlon palettes and it's a little bit difficult to get your brushes in. I don't think the color setup gives you really the freedom to pull off a full complete look, specifically with this guy right here. I thought that it would really do it for me. I was like, oh yeah, we've got some beautiful browns. We have kind of a, you know, more burgundy, mahogany kind of uh, situation here, something nice for the crease. These just blended kind of all into the same tone. And then these down here kind of all have the same tone and then the purple is just not really that pigmented. So while the texture will blend out and buff out quite nicely, the tones are not the greatest in my opinion. The pan size does make it hard for you to get a full coating on your brush if you're using a fluffier blending brush. I just wish they had more of a mix of like metallic with some of the mattes. I don't know, I, I think they'll wear well, but there's something about it that just didn't make me wowed, you know? Okay, so this is from Essence. This is the eyebrow pencil, waterproof. It is a itty bitty 1.5 millimeter tip. And this is the shade. Nobody knows, no, no. What are you called? What's your name? Tell me, it's a brown something, I'm sure. Okay. Whoa. Shoot, these are some dark brows and I like it. Let me fill you guys in on why my hairline might look a little like crazy. I recently dyed my hair darker and I like to give it usually like 48 hours to three days to really like let the color sink in. And if I'm doing any tape and extensions, which I did, you're supposed to not wash your hair right away. So that's why my hair looks a little bit weird. The hairline, you can see, I tried to put makeup in it to kind of make it blend, but a little bit of the hair dye is still on my scalp. Anyway, my hair's a lot darker and I'm playing around with different brow shades. I don't think I can go as light as I have been. A lot of people like to go a shade lighter than the hair when you have very, very dark hair. On me, I feel like my brows disappear. So really, again, makeup is so just like, you make your own rules, it's your own thing, do what feels good to you. I think I like the darker for me. This is as good as it's gonna get. Let's go into mascara. I'm gonna use the Super Curl from Essence. Yikes, that's a wand. It's very skinny and will literally be the entire size of the base of my lashes. Wow. I am going to put on falsies today because she got carried away with the makeup and I feel like it kind of calls for it. Sometimes when I do like the big wing and the big kind of smoky vibe, like I feel like I need lashes to kind of pair with the statement, you know? All right, thank God we are finally at a point to put on some concealer because I feel like I look very, very, very tired, because I am. But thank God there's a thing called concealer. We're gonna go into the Super Stay Full Coverage Under Eye Concealer. This is said to stay put for 24 hours. Do we believe it? I already don't. Call me glass half empty, but I just, I don't know. We're gonna give this a try. I am using the shade 18, light, medium. And I am gonna pull out here. I find this area on me specific, Pacific Northwest, specific. Maybe I do really need more sleep. <laughs> this region on the outer edge, and I know a lot of women struggle with this as well, is where I almost get pinky and purple. So under here is just kind of a little more hollowed out and there's just more shadowing. And this situation right here when I first wake up in the morning is a little more intense. You know, I have a lot of light on me here in the studio, but outside in daylight, this is more purpley pink. So I do always try to get some kind of extra coverage over here. Even if I'm just going more modest up in this region right here, which today I attempted to, and well, we can look at my face, that didn't happen. And my beauty blender's not wet. To be continued. Okay, we gotta, I gotta hustle. We're just going to, 
<laughs> yabba dabba do this in my skin. Why do I make the dumbest jokes ever? Oh my gosh. James actually told me that my dad humor has gotten to a level of cringiness that I have completely blown him out of the water. I was talking about the different <laughs> stages of grief last night. Like literally I'm sitting in the, in the bathroom and I was talking about like the different stages of grief and how right now what I'm going through is acceptance. You guys know I've had a lot of ups, a lot of downs over the past year. My grandma passed away. I had a lot of community, we all know, issues, a lot of heartbreak, things with my family, and it's just been a roller coaster. And I've also been growing my business and working on so many exciting things. And I believe when this video goes up, you guys will already know about Tati Beauty and all of the things that I have been working so steadily on with that. It has been blood, sweat, tears the whole way. So now we're here, and this is pre-launch when I'm filming this. I have not launched. Oh, my palette. Oh my gosh. I don't want to get my like dirty hands on it. It's sitting right here. I'm doing like a final meeting today actually uh, to go through some of the launch process. And because I am such a control freak, I want my hands in everything. I want approvals on everything. I want approvals on social and the vibe images and the flow of content and, you know, like even casting arm models. Like I am so in what I do, like 100%. So anyway, so I have a meeting today to finalize some things, but you guys, ugh. This is why when I was like blending my shadows, I'm like, um, this is like, this look took me a decade to do. And if I was using my palette, well, it wouldn't. It's a time saver. And the colors, they're just phenomenal. And you guys should see what I have in store. We're already ready for more. I'm ready for more. Anyway, let me get back to this, right? So a lot's been going on and I'm on the floor talking to James, very seriously, mind you. I'm like, you know, I think I'm through the stages of grief. You know, there's like the, the anger zone and then there's the bargaining zone. And I don't know why I kept saying zone and I was just really quiet and I'm like, I think I'm in the auto zone. And he's like, you just need to stop with the dad humor. Like, what have I done to you? Like, oh my gosh. And I'm like, I know, right? Like I will, inappropriately like bust out cheesy humor. I can't help it, whatever. Anyway, this concealer is good. It's like surprising me. It is so good. What? How is, why did I not try this sooner? Okay, I'm just gonna level up the coverage right here. It's like covering, but it is really quite thin in texture. I really wish I wouldn't get copyright striked, but I have This Is Halloween stuck in my head. Just like, just, just look at me and think of that. I'm surprised that the makeup looks as good as it does. It took me a really long time, not gonna lie. I have been sitting here for an hour and a half now and I'm not even done. And that's just because I had to wipe off liner, reblend shadow, not everything went the way I wanted it to. And I can breeze through my own routine in like 45 minutes and do a nice glam look. But when I'm using new products, sometimes it's just unpredictable. There are things I like, there are things I don't like. 
I'm gonna set the face and then we're gonna do the lips and then I gotta scoot on out of here and I'm gonna take you guys with me and we'll do a bunch of check-ins. All right, it is time for this lip kit. I have no idea how this is gonna go down. This is from CoverGirl. This has been out for a hot minute. This is a pretty color. It's a very kind of soft pink. Ooh. This is really pretty. I normally like to go a tad bit darker with liner, but this is really pretty. Okay, I think there's like a liquid lip in here. What is this? No, just how to three steps. Outline, fill in. I'm weirded out. These are just products that are sold separately. Why? What? I mean, these are pretty. It is pretty. It says to fill your lips in the entire way. So let me just... No! All of my black pants. Let's try that again. I think that was my fault because I put it up too high. Let's just put on this lipstick and get out of here. I like this color combo. I actually really, really, really like this lipstick. I don't normally love, love CoverGirl lip products. Okay, you guys, I got a dash out of here. Uh, let's hope the makeup doesn't fall apart and we'll find out together. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay. <laughs> How's it going, guys? It's dark outside and um, I had a long drive home. Oh, oh, oh. Hi. <laughs> <sighs> It's been a long day, uh, to say the least, but it's been a great day. I've gotten so much done. I was in a rush most of the day. I did not do any check-ins out in natural light, but I did look in a few mirrors and I'm here to update you that I still, oh, that hairline is just so gross. I still don't like the liner. I am pleasantly surprised by the eyeshadow. My sister was like, your eyeshadow looks so nice. Like it's not crazy and it's doing so well. So her compliments always mean like the most because she does not hold back for a minute. The concealer looks great. I am so, so, so shocked by that. Like that's actually the one that I am most shocked by. Cause I was like, wait a second, like 24 hour wearing concealer. Like it's probably not gonna do that much. Like, how can it be that great? Why is no one talking about this? <sighs> I'm like out of breath and tired. We're making jambalaya tonight. I'm gonna go eat dinner. I am gonna sleep in this makeup. I'm gonna take off like a portion of the face, but I am gonna sleep in the brow, the eyeshadow, the liner. I'll probably take off the lashes, but I'll leave the concealer just because I'm really curious. But for now, I'm gonna go help out Erica in the kitchen for a minute, relax, unwind, and I will check in with you guys right before bedtime. What in the hell? I did not turn my TV on and it literally just turned on by itself. Wait, what? Oh my God, it's actually freaking me out. What the, f what was that? What was that? Hey, did you turn on some music or something? Hey, Erica, did you just turn on music upstairs? What? I don't know. Like I was doing a check-in and all of a sudden this creepy ass music started playing in the bedroom. Did you do that? Is this still on? No, it turned off. I thought that you had turned something on up here and I thought it was the TV. Oh my God, I feel like I'm gonna have a heart attack. Creepy music. I probably recorded some of it on the phone. It was like, uh, 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 like, well, that's a really horrible rendition of it. Oh my God, I'm freaking out. No, oh my I, God. I swear, I, I was Promise me. I promise. I shut it, it now. It didn't even sound like a normal song. It sounded like some indie band that I had never heard of that wouldn't be on like one of our playlists or Pandora or anything. So I was like, what is that? Is that some like television show? Yeah, you have Pandora turned on upstairs. And like I go around the corner, there's no lights on, there's no TV on, there's no nothing. There's just music playing. The second that I walk in the bedroom, it shut off. I'm off the out. And Actually, we're conspiring to make you think you're crazy. You're not supposed to tell her that. 
That wouldn't surprise me. Why? I have enough people in my life that do that. My God. How's my, doesn't my makeup look so beautiful though? beautiful. Yeah, you're glowing. freaking gorgeous. I look like I just saw a ghost. No, you don't. Your bronze is great. I'm smiling, but I'm not even smiling because I'm not, I'm actually like, I'm going to, I'm going to actually play this back right now because you need to hear this because this is really actually super weird and I don't like it for a minute. I'm going to just go and, and pray for a while for good and light and everything holy to just like be angels, be with me. And my friends, it is 1230 at night. I am up past my bedtime and we can see what happened to my eyebrow. So I'm calling it, I'm calling this a 24 hour wear disaster because it's all just fallen, like it's fallen apart fast. And I like the concealer. I think the concealer is actually really, really good. It did not crease. It stayed looking fresh for most of the day. The liner, whew, no. Didn't like how it applied. Didn't like how it looked all day. Yeah, it stayed put, but also I did top it with the house lab. So mm -mm -mm. the eyebrows kind of moved around. Wow, holy smokes, not really the biggest fan of that either. Love the color, don't love that product. There are plenty of other pencils, pomades out there that are very long wearing that I like better. And the shadow, surprisingly, is like totally great. I really like it, aside from the pan size and maybe some of the color setup, but the formula like stayed really strong and true. So I'm gonna go and get my beauty rest. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed before you leave and ring the bell so that you can see upcoming meltdowns in makeup with wear tests. Wow. I feel super cute. Okay, off to wash my face. I love you guys so much and I will see you all in my next video. Mwah.